While local World Series hero and former Elizabethan Cyclone Evan Carter recently stopped by our daytime studio to tell us about the amazing season that he just wrapped up, including being called up to the major leagues and helping lead the Texas Rangers to a championship. Absolutely. He told us it's hard to believe the ride he's been on the last three years. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's flown by. Um, I guess it was only, what, three years ago now. Um, I mean, the minor leagues, every every year it seems like it gets quicker and quicker. Um, the off seasons get shorter and the seasons get shorter, it seems like. But, yeah, it just feels like yesterday. It's crazy. Baseball analysts say one of the most impressive things about Carter's run was the maturity and composure he showed as a 21-year-old on baseball's biggest stage. Yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's flown by. Um, I guess it was only, what, three years ago now. Um, I mean, the minor leagues, every every year it seems like it gets quicker and quicker. Um, the off seasons get shorter and the seasons get shorter, it seems like. But, yeah, it just feels like yesterday. It's crazy. Carter gives a lot of credit to his success to his time as a Cyclone. That's the start of kind of my maturing in baseball journey for sure. Um, you know, Ryan Preston over there does an incredible job. And, uh, you know, I still talk to him a ton today. You know, we have a great relationship. Um, and, you know, I would credit him just to kind of helping me mature in baseball, and mature in life, you know, just kind of figuring out how to be an adult, I guess. Um, and, you know, I, I learned a lot over there for sure. Carter says while he's already achieved so much, he still plans to accomplish even more in what looks like a bright future ahead on the diamond. That just, you know, kind of sets the, uh, the standard for how you want to end each season. You know, you don't want to go home uh, losing the last game of the year. You want to go home winning the last game of the year. And that's kind of, you get a taste of it so soon. And that sets the standard for how we want to go about it going forward. Um, and just that's the goal every year from now on. It's just going to be to win every year. And after coming home to a hero's welcome, he tells us he and his family are very thankful for the support given them during his rise to stardom. Thank you. I mean, this is just their big a part of this as anybody. Um, you know, the way that they make me feel and, and my wife as well, just how supported we feel, it just makes us, you know, better people and uh, able to go out and kind of perform better and be better at our jobs. And it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's a big blessing to have the people back home that have helped us out a lot. Such a humble young man. Yes, absolutely. Oh my goodness. We wish him, of course, the nothing but the best in his career. Very proud of where he came from in Northeast Tennessee. Certainly is proud of him. Yeah. Hey, there is sure to be some Evan Carter items available <laughs> during the ninth annual Betsy Baseball Auction at Elizabethan High School on coming up on February 3rd. We'll have more on that coming up in the next few weeks. And if you're interested in buying one of those Jesus One t-shirts that Evan helped bring attention to, you can buy those at fca.itsonatea.com. All right. So proud that he came by our station and came by I the know. studios. And Lots I've of got, pictures. I've got an autographed baseball, <laughs> oh, so I'm good. I'm good. Everybody yeah. was happy, and he was yeah. just so nice. Oh, so nice. So so, nice. Such a great guy. Such yeah. a great representative of his family and our area as well. So. Easy to cheer him on. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Hey, we'll be back with more daytime coming up in just a